my channel. I'm a second year med student and also a RMT and I enjoy making videos about anything related to being a med student and my other hobbies as well. Today's video, I will be sharing with you and this is a sit-down video on how I passed the MedTech board exams or formally called MedTech Licensure Examination. So I made this video to give an overview not just for the future RMDs but also for the board exam takers that are preparing for this examination. Disclaimer, this is just from my personal experience and this will just serve as a guide for you to take. So before we start, a little backstory muna. I graduated from Silliman University last March 2018 and started reviewing my board exam sa May up until the September 2018 MTLE. So it was an intense road to go through but of course it was worth all the sacrifices that I made from that time. So I'll be talking about it extensively and will give you tips such as review centers, your learning styles, the subjects that should be focused on for the board exam, also the level of difficulty and how I studied them, habits I maintained, and my experience before and after the exam. So if you are interested, please keep on watching. So common question that you ask yourself after you graduate is that, should I take the board exam or not? If ever, should I pay for a review center or self-study? What review centers should I choose? To be honest, when I reviewed the board exam, there were a lot of Eureka moments that I've experienced at that time. It was a summary of the first to fourth year of this course and reviewing for it will help you correlate every subject. So I treated it not just to pass my board exam, but also in preparation for med school. And for me, synthesizing all of it to studying everything for the board exam helped me a lot now in med school. Kasi alam nyo naman, pag third year ka noon, nang medtech pa ako, diba sobrang sabog mo pa, hindi mo pa nag-figure out yung anong gagawin mo. But then, nung sa board exam na, along with the internship, parang nag-figure out ko na, nasisynthesize ko na lahat, nasasummarize ko na yung mga inaaral ko from the beginning. It's okay not to take the board exam and mag-proceed ka lang na med school. It's fine, okay lang yun. It's just that, ang pagiging RMT kasi can be a backup plan if ever, you won't proceed to med school. My license ka na. Let's talk about the review centers. In my case, I went to two review centers, Pioneer for one month, and then Limar three months. I did that because I got a discount for both, and I just wanted to preoccupy myself and para hindi masira yung momentum ko sa five-month review. But mind you, don't force yourself to have two review centers because one, it's expensive. Two, it's exhausting to juggle between their schedule kasi it will make you anxious on the long run on what to study if ni mo kaya. Advice ka lang na one is enough, it's still the same result, it matters on your perseverance and hard work. On the other hand, if you like to self-study, I salute them because it takes a lot of discipline for you to do it. And the good thing about it is that you are free to create your study schedule and you have a luxurious time for you to study the reference books at your own pace. Next, after you decide and answer your previous questions, the next thing that you should ask yourself is, what type of learner am I? Am I a visual, verbal, auditory? So what you have to do, you just try different styles or combine them until you come up into a good one. This step is important because it will matter on how you deal with reviewing the board exam. And another question to follow is, where will I begin? So advice ko, you should know first what subjects should be covered for the board exam. There are six subjects in MTLE, so these are clinical chemistry, microbiology, clinical microscopy, ISBB, immunoserology and blood banking, hematology, histopathology, and MD. So with that, you should rank them from the hardest to the easiest subject. And I suggest you guys to start with the hardest part first. Why? There is a psychological explanation that whenever you start with a difficult subject, your brain tricks you to feel at ease whenever you accomplish it than starting with the easiest subjects. Because after that, you'll get tired at the moment you go to the hardest subject now. In my experience, I started studying ISBB, the microbiology, and then hematology. I balanced my time by reading the books and the handouts 
that I got from the review centers. Take note that you should be smart in reading the books because I will not advise you to read all of it kasi unless you have the luxury time to do it. So I'll give you a photo of the list of books that you have to read and I put a legend beside it if you have to read it from cover to cover, only parts of it, or pray over na lang, di ba? So yan, just take a screenshot if you want. If ever you're curious about what handouts that I studied sa review centers ko, feel free to DM me on Instagram at Potato Time. Then we go now to how I effectively study and the apps that I use for it. First, of course, you should find a study area that has good lighting and preferably naka face a wall with no distractions. And it's up to you if you will study in solo or with your friend. Number two, when studying, always make bizarre mnemonic. The more weird or green, the better. Use mind maps, dapat may connection lahat ng ni study mo. And then look at the concepts in a bigger picture. And then after studying, Connect it with the other subject by their keywords. Lagay mo sa binahan at mo yung mga naalala mo about it from every subject. So, ayun, correlation and then pictures are really helpful. Number three is get enough sleep and don't force yourself to study the information which will not be retained because you're sleepy. Number four is start studying early. And plan out your day. Invest in calendar and planners for your study schedule. Number five is avoid distractions like your gadgets and social media. There are apps man, that you can freeze your social media whenever you're tempted to use it. You can see all about it from the apps that I use in med school video. Ayan. Ako kasi madilang ako madistract given na may roommates din ako noon. So what I did, I invested headphones. It's up to you kanong music ang tutulong sa'yo to keep you up in focus mode. I suggest lo-fi beats, mga non-lyrical music, pwede din classical music if bet nyo din, mga jazz, kaya maganda din yan sa YouTube, ang mita mo din, and sa Dune videos like this. Ayan. To six, when there is a new concept, write it in a small notebook or sa tabi ng handout mo, and then review it. Pabalik-balik lang talaga. Repeating is the key. Number seven is highlight only the important parts. Pagi highlight lahat, okay? So number eight is do not forget to organize your notes. So para sa akin important din yun, lalo na a month before the board exam, dapat kaya mo nang masummarize. May may handout ka na nakasummarize na lahat ng kaya mo i-run down in just a month na. Kasi always talaga repeating yan pag mag-aaral ka sa board exam. So, categorize everything, the values, the pathways. So, what I used were paper clips, mga binder clips, post-it notes, index cards. Sobrang dami nun. Talagay ko siya sa isang folder na maliit. And then lahat nakakategorize. Number nine is that make sure that for every topic, kaya mo siyang i-discuss within yourself or with the others. Mas mabuti din yon. Next are the apps that I used at that time. So, I used Quizlet for flashcards, lalo na sa mga normal values sa CM, Hima, CC, ayun. And I also used Flat Tomato or Forest para sa Pomodoro Technique. 25 minutes study and 5 minutes break. So, tagal ko nang gumagamit ng Pomodoro Technique ever since sa board exam review pa. Ayan, Pomodoro Technique was really helpful for me to prevent myself from being distracted and from information overload at least my breaks ako in between and pag sanay ka na you can increase your focus only and not your break time next app I use also Adobe Acrobat for the PDF sa mga books also YouTube yan YouTube talaga it was helpful for me whenever I needed a better explanation about the topic and then I usually go for Osmosis and si Armando Hasundungan after all those advices study tips that I gave you I also wanted to give you a friendly advice um, habits, attitude that you should maintain during the review. It will reflect on your performance exam, diba? Number one, be mindful of your things, especially when you have roommates. Number two, it's such a cliche, but always be optimistic and strive always for improvement whenever you face low scores or you feel exhausted on the review. Remember that you are not alone. All of you are struggling. Dapat magtulungan kayo. But what matters din naman is your mindset, how you handle those challenges throughout the whole preparation time. Number three is that failure means improvement. Don't think of it as a bad thing because 
it can be a source of your hard work and inspiration. Naman. Number four is wag magikang pante and be humble. Okay, be humble. Number five is don't be too hard on yourself. Sinasabi ko dito sa sarili ko and learn at your own pace. Wag kang ma-pressure sa iba kung nakatapos na sila on that topic kasi iba-iba kayo ng pace. One thing I always keep in mind is this talaga. Tortoise and the hair. You can be successful by being consistent, by doing things steadily and slowly than by acting quickly and carelessly. Number six is loosen up and treat yourself. Take breaks. Number seven is call a friend or family whenever you feel down and exhausted na at least man lang may makakausap ka or your roommates as well. Just balance your time and take care of your health. Take care of yourself. Take vitamins, hydrate yourself, sleep well, and eat well. Eat a balanced meal. Alam ko, ako din, guilty din ako kasi di ako makain ng mga healthy food. Try your best to eat healthy food and prevent yourself from being sick, okay? Number nine is do your best in everything. I mean, from quizzes, simulated exams, fit it like a board exam question. Always remember, during this stage of preparation, it is board exam level na. And number 10 for this friendly advice is don't forget to have faith in Him. There's some time to meditate and pray, to ask for guidance and wisdom. Ask what you want for that RMT. In my experience, I pray every morning and plan out before starting my day. And I also go to church every Sunday with my friends. Sometimes yung iba nagsi church hopping, basta may mga tradition yan siya. And last one for this video are some snippets na as in noon ko pa talagang gustong i-share sa inyo. Mga failed vlogs ko noon. And I just wanted to share with you this time the mga experiences namin sa board exam. And also, I wanted to talk about what I did before and after the board exam. Ayun, one week before the exam, I still studied and, and also I organized na kung anong isa-study ko the day before the exam. I ran down everything Na. It was a two-day exam. So for the first day, it was clinical chemistry, clinical microscopy, and microbiology. I one hour break every subject. And ayun, may mga small notes ako to review. So in my experience, for the three subjects, ayun, clinical chemistry na. Um, Ina-advise nila na maganda yung simula mo para magtuloy-tuloy. Tapos, mabuti nga, at inahalal ko talaga yung fluids and electrolytes at wala masyadong quality assurance na yun talaga yung pinupush, ba So, second is, for the CM, it was okay. Maganda yung foundation. And then, yung microbiology talaga, it drained me a lot. The prediction was right na mahirap talaga siya. As far as I can remember, maraming parasitology questions. To somehow work my way is to rationalize each of the choices. So, ayun, kung may alam ko ako sa choices na yun, tinatanggal ko na if mali siya. And yun yung tip ko sa inyo, if ever hindi mo alam yung question, mag-rationalize ka, cancel out every choices until you come up with the final answer. And then feel ko nga, for this upcoming board exam, baka maraming about sa COVID-19 kasi it is a pandemic. Usually, yung mga questions talaga, it is timely. Uh, my parents were there with me para ha, malusin up a bit ako kasi kinakabahan talaga ako nun. As in, sobrang stress ko nun. For the second day of exam, nag-aral pa rin ako. Sorry guys, pero nag-aral pa rin ako. At least, ginawa ko na yung lahat. And the second day, the subjects were ISBB, HEMA, and Histopan MT Loss. And for the ISBB and HEMA, marami talagang mga laboratory questions. Yung application, ayun. And the uh, MT Loss, puro mga practical questions about what you should do with this. Ayun, ang bilis ng oras talaga. And after I answered the last question for his to pad, nung nakita ko na yung parents ko outside waiting for me, parang nawalan talaga ako ng tinik kasi at last, after the five months of training, reviews and study, tapos na talaga. And ayun, and mindset ko lang talaga after that is, I already gave my all. And si Lord na bahala. Then after that, we went to church. And I rewarded myself talaga. Kumain ako ng marami. Natulog ako ng maayos. Nag-watch ako ng movie. Ayun, sobrang grabe talaga. Ang ganda ng feeling kung nabigay mo na talaga lahat. And also, ba sabi ko sa inyo, it is special for me. So, I'll share with you the snippet and the videos that I took on those days. And, and also, yung mga videos where we received the good news. So, yeah.
anyway, mm-hmm. ilang days na lang. <laughs> ilang two days weeks. na lang. <laughs> oh, oh, less than two weeks na lang. Yay! Diba? Ang dami pang aaralin. Yeah. Yes, we do. Kaya! Kaya, Mads! Kaya! Yay! Yay! Two days na lang. The hardship and challenges will pass as long as you're doing everything that you can. One piece of advice before we end this video is that it doesn't matter what others are doing. It matters more on what you are doing. Okay? God bless. Good luck on your exam. I hope you'll all pass the board exam and have that RFP beside your name. <laughs> Happy ako sa inyo guys. I will be rooting for you all. Ayon, share this to your friends who will also take the board exam. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for my subscribers also for supporting me in this journey. Malapit na po tayo mag 2K and hindi ko to magagawa kung wala kayo. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. And also share ko lang, ito talaga yung video na gusto kong gawing content after the board exam. Pero okay lang kasi at least naman natuloy na siya ngayon. 
So ayun, thank you so much. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification down below to keep you guys updated on my next video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Laban mga dog. Stay safe. Bye!